Let us pray the angelus. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our deaths. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come sick to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood and its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of a sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, today is a very special day for the Archdiocese of Tugigarao. For today, we celebrate the anniversary of the dedication of our cathedral. We continue then to pray for our dear Archbishop. We continue also to pray for our church. We pray also for the Archdiocese of Tugigarao. So in silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and pray for all those who ask for our prayers and also for the intentions of this Holy Mass. Now, my dear sisters and brothers, let us also acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, 
we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth be so nerd is to be full of good will Lord Jesus Christ only begotten Son Lord God Lamb of God Son of the Father you take from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty increase in your church the grace you have bestowed so that by unceasing growth your faithful or your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Nehemi. In the seventh month, all the people gathered as one in the square before the water gate, and they asked Ezra to bring the book of the law of Moses, which Yahweh had given to Israel. Ezra brought the law before the assembly. Both men and women and all the children who could understand what was being read, it was the first day of the seventh month. Ezra read the book before all of them from early morning until midday in the square facing the water gate 
and all who heard were attentive to the book of law. Ezra, the teacher of the law, stood on a wooden platform built from that occasion. Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was in a higher place. And when he opened it, all the people stood. Ezra blessed Yahweh, the great God, and all the people lifted up their hands and answered, Amen, Amen. And they bowed their heads to the ground. They read from the book of the law of God, clarifying and interpreting the meaning so that every man might understand what they were hearing. When Ezra, the teacher of the law, said to the people, This day is dedicated to Yahweh, your God, and do not be sad or weep. He said this because all wept when they heard the reading of the law. Then he said to them, Go and eat rich foods, drink sweet wine, and share it with him who has nothing prepared. This day is dedicated to the Lord. Do not be sad. The joy of Jove is our strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest in which he puts her young. Your altar, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Happy they who dwell in your house. Continually they praise you. Happy the men whose strength they are. They go from strength to strength. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Please stand. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore, if you bring your gifts to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. As I have said in my introduction, my dear sisters and brothers, today 
we celebrate the anniversary of the dedication of the Cathedral of the Archdiocese of Tugigarao. Sa simbahan po natin, meron mga important churches na kinoconsider po natin. Not because may mga levels o meron pong mas importante, but because of yung kanyang role sa ating pong uh, lipunan o sa ating simbahan. No? So, the, for example, here in our Archdiocese, in the territory of the Archdiocese of Tugigaraw, ang main parish natin o ang, ang center ng ating, ano, ang, ang, ng ating pananampalataya is our cathedral. So, our cathedral is the mother church of the diocese. No? Yan po ang, ang, ang sinasabi sa atin ng simbahan. So, the importance of the cathedral is the cathedral is the mother church of the churches in the diocese. No? So, mahalaga po ang role ng cathedral church natin. Bakit po siya tinawag na cathedral? No? If you go to Tugigaraw, no, nandun po ang ating cathedral, the St. Peter, Peter Cathedral in Tugigaraw. Bakit po siya tinawag na cathedral? Bakit hindi po pwede ang piat as cathedral? Bakit hindi po sa Apari ang cathedral? Bakit nga sa Tugigaraw ang cathedral? Nagiging cathedral po ang isang simbahan kapag nandoon po ang upuan ng bishop. No? If you go later on or if you visit the cathedral, makikita po ninyo sa center po ng simbahan, meron po doon malaking upuan. No? And that is what we call cathedra. No? That's why it's called cathedral. Kasi nandun ang cathedra o chair o upuan ni bishop. No? So that's why it's called cathedral. Yun po ang parang simbahan ng obispo. No? So it plays a very big role sa ating pong archdiocese. If there are proclamations, no? doon po ginagawa ng bishop. No? If he needs to preach for the people and no, to the people, doon din po niya ginagawa. No? So that is the church of the bishop. So today, we celebrate that church po, yung anniversary ng kanyang dedication. Ano naman po ang dedication? Dedication naman po ay yung tinatawag natin blessing ng simbahan or di naman po kaya ay in other terms, yung parang binyag ng simbahan. Kung uh, tayo bilang mga Kristiyano, followers of Jesus, nabibinyagan po tayo, di ba? Linalag... Uh, binubuhusan tayo ng, ng tubig, linalagyan tayo ng oil sa ating ulo, dinadamitan tayo ng puti, di ba? Tapos nag, nagsisindi tayo ng kandila kapag may binyag. Ganon din po pag-dedication. Ang dedication po ay ang parang binyag ng simbahan. Kaya if you notice po, merong pong pinakamahalagang uh, parte ng simbahan ay yung altar, yung altar table na sinatawag po natin. Kapag dinedicate po ang isang simbahan, no, yung pong altar table ay winiwisikan ng tubig and the whole church and the uh, people gathered together. no, Ang altar ay linalagyan din ng oil, di ba? kagaya ng ginagawa sa atin. Then, dinadamitan din ng puti ang altar at linalagyan din ng kandila. So parang binibinyagan din po ang simbahan. Pero ang tawag natin ay dedication because the building na ginawa po natin is now dedicated to the worship of God. No? Yan po ang importansya rin po ng pag-ating pag-dedicate o pag-bless o pag-baptize ng isang simbahan. Because the church o yung building kung saan po tayo nagdarasal is a church dedicated to worship God. No? Kaya nga po hindi pinapayagan na nagkakaroon tayo ng, ng mga concert-concert na yung mga rock and roll dito sa loob ng simbahan. 
hindi pwedeng gawin mga kunwari, hindi po pwedeng gawin pwede pang gawin kong reception na lang father, yung simbahan para maluwang ang area no, because that's not the purpose of this church or this building, this building is created for worship, no, yan po ang ang sinasabi sa atin ng ating simbahan so in our church po, or kapag sinabi po natin church may dalawa pong meaning ang church, no? Church as the building, no? Yan yung sinaselebrate natin ngayon. The building of the cathedral, no? Yung, yung structure na brines natin, no? Yan po yung tinatawag natin na church, no? Pero the other meaning of the church is also tayo, no? Na nagsisimba, tayo na nagdarasal, which is more important, sabi nga po sa atin, ng ating pong Panginoon. No? So the church o yung mga simbahan ay pinapatayo para sa atin mga members ng simbahan. So ano din po ang mensahe sa atin ng ating celebration ngayon? Number one, to continue to respect and give dignity sa simbahan na physical na simbahan na sinasabi po natin. No? Yung simbahan ng Diyos. Yung tahanan ng Diyos na sinasabi po natin. That's why we need to keep it clean. Kaya po, parati natin pinapaganda, kagaya na ginagawa natin ngayon dito sa Basilica. Bakit natin pinapaganda? Because it is the place where we worship God. No? So, kailangan po maintain natin ang mga, mga bagay-bagay na maayos. Why? Because again, it is a place where we pray and worship our God. So, importante rin po ang kagandahan at kalinisan ng ating pong simbahan. Pero, it also reflects to us, no? Sabi nga po ng ating, ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, tayo din po ay mga simbahan. Our bodies also are temples of God. Tayo din po ay mga simbahan ng Diyos. Bakit po? Kasi pumapasok din sa ating katawan ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo when we receive the sacrament or what we call Holy Communion. Kaya yan din po ang tawag sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Kung gaano kalinis ang simbahan, ganun din po dapat kalinis ang ating puso at kaluluwa. Kung gaano kaganda ang ating mga simbahan, ganun din po dapat ang ating kaluluwa ganun din po dapat kaganda ang ating ugali sa kapwa natin no yan po ang sinasabi nating reflection kung gaano kaganda ang physical na simbahan po natin ganun din po sana kaganda ang ating pong mga espiritu yan po ang tawag sa atin ng ating celebration ngayon na we celebrate the dedication or the anniversary of the dedication of the Cathedral of the Archdiocese of Tugegaraw. Na sana tayo po na nagsasamba, tayo po o na nagdarasal, tayo po na nagbibigay papuri sa Diyos. Hindi lamang po sana tayo concerned sa kagandahan ng mga structures natin o mga simbahan o buildings natin, but ang una sana natin pinapaganda ay ang ating mga sarili pinapaganda natin, pinapalinis o linilinisan natin ang ating mga puso, ang ating mga isipan, ang ating kaluluwa. Dahil tuwing ang Diyos ay rinireceive po natin through Holy Communion, we become the church or we become temples of God. So today, yan po ang mensahe sa atin ng ating pong celebration. Number one, the church or the physical church should maintain its dignity, its respect na binibigay natin by clean, the cleanliness and the beauty na meron po ito. But number two, it also reflects sa atin po na nagdarasal, nagwo-worship o nagpupuri sa simbahan na yan. Na sana hindi lang natin pinapalinis ang physical na simbahan but more so dapat ang atin pong mga kaluluwa, puso at isipan ang pinakamalinis at pinakamaganda para i-welcome ang ating Panginoon. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray to the Father, to God our Father, as we celebrate the anniversary of the dedication of St. Peter's Cathedral, he may, that he may continually guide and accompany us in our journey of faith. With confidence, let us implore him and pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church, the people of God, brought through saving waters to the land of promise, that we may joyfully proclaim with our lives the good news of Christ's victory over sin and death, especially in this time of crisis. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For Pope Francis and all bishops, that they may be true ministers of the compassion and service to the people, entrusted to their care and to all who are suffering let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our prayer for archbishop ricardo bacay that he may lead this diocese with new vigor and wisdom and a shepherd's heart let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for all civil leaders that they may grow in a spirit of service promote human solidarity and prompt all people to extend to one another mutual support. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the faithful of the archdiocese, that like Peter, we may indeed become true followers of the risen Lord, obedient and active workers in the work of communion and evangelization. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and whose lives are hidden with Christ in God, especially the zealous missionaries, priests, and bishops who labor to sow and nurture our faith, that they may live forever with Christ in the glory of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, in the spirit of thanksgiving, we entrust to you our petitions, since we trust in your mercy and wisdom. May we come to share the glory of Jesus, who lives in your presence and draws our hearts to you. He reigns as our shepherd and king forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We lift them up to the Lord. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, for the Father of Almighty and Eternal God. For in your benevolence, you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as a temple of the Holy Spirit. Supported by the perpetual cup of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you, year by year, you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadow invisible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in the your heavenly glory. And so, with all angels and saints, we praise you as without end. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, your bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in the presence and minister to you. Come, you we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be one and be one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the promises of our hope and the 
Amen. Please stand. kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the fear of your church, and wish to God to our peace and in, in accordance with your will. For you will reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The 
Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant, we pray, that by our partaking of this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. May your faithful people rejoice, we pray, O Lord, to be upheld by your right hand, and progressing in the Christian life, may they delight in good things, both now and in the time to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Remember, O Mary, Immaculate Virgin, that never was it known. Anyone who comes to your protection 
was left and her sister or miracle she would not see pray for us who have recourse to you or miracle she would not see pray for us pray for us prayer before a crucifix Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They know, dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul. Particularly, and a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm-hmm.